Michael Jackson was black, but then he became white. And then the president of Canada was white until he became black. And now Ragavan is also black? In the form of the new card, Tiny Boner the Pickpocket. It's all very confusing, but what we do know is that Ragavan's a good card. But when Ragavan was spoiled, a lot of players thought that it'd be balls. So now the question is, how does Ragavan compare to Tiny Boner? Well, Tiny Boner has the touch, and when he deals damage to opponent, we get to cast a non land permanent card from our opponent's graveyard. Both Tiny Boner and Ragavan get to steal our opponent's stuff. Ragavan can hit non permanent, but whips with the top card of opponent's library is the land. With Tiny Boner, we get to choose, but our opponent might not have permanent graveyard. And a huge upside of Ragavan is that it makes treasures, but Tiny Boner has Death Hutch, which is really good for attacking or blocking. So how good is Tiny Boner? We'll have to test it out to find out. But there's another new card to talk about, Test Control. For just two mana, it destroys all non-land permanents with mana value one or less. And as a backup plan, it can be cycled away. Destroying all permanents and not just creatures is a huge upside. Through the power of Test Control and Tiny Boner, we shall handle the competition in a white black Sunport Shack. That just happens to have grief. Before we all feel too pregnant, White Black Scam could really use her help. With only six decks on record this year, Undying works really well with Tiny Boner, because when our opponent turns from Death Hutch, Tiny Boner comes back. And using some Forge, we can find Sword to make Tiny Boner unblockable, or Maul and Skyclaves, the buff with Flying and First Strike. Lastly, we have Blank, Creature Removal, Discard, Favorite Hate, Card Draw Hate, all are complete with Haste and Destructible, and Solitude, to exile our opponent's creatures and make them cry. And then there's a new Surveillance that we can fetch for, and now for Cyborg, we have Artifact Enchantment Hate, with a new card record Raid. I can do three things at once, like my whole of a sister. And this reset hate, red hate, land hate, white hate, favorite hate, active ability hate, card draw hate, and a fourth plus control. It has a deck. And now it's time to see it in action. Be sure to stick around and subscribe because Daddy's doing a massive giveaway very soon. And off we go. Opening hand with Tiny Boner's turn to keep. And it looks like it's a main. This could be quite troubling. There's regular leak. Let's come right for us, okay? Solitude here is tempting. I think we should wait. Well, let's play Tiny Boner. And it's hopefully not a sign on hand. Oh, what am I minding? Grabbing our tiny boner. The ravioli gets in for two. Then please roll her. Land for us, that's good. We'll wall the ravioli. And clench her cheeks. We take five. Another opponent passes. Another ephemerate. And we'll see what our opponent's got. I think it's swing. Okay. We'll look solitude. Take all the brawler. And then ephemerate solitude. Our opponent must be devastated. Travel claims. We're gonna meet. Not all the counter. Fine. We'll use ephemerate to wall them again. Land. We'll get them for two and pass. Our opponent puts BCJ in hand and passes. We'll surveil away land. And fatal plus press. And we'll pass. Our opponent has all the cuddles. And no. Then we find Tiny Boner. Perfect timing to stop GCJ. They play GCJ. We'll go in with Tiny Boner. Will they let us fill the ravioli? No. We're gonna make Tiny Boner. And they lose GCJ. How tragic for our opponent. Our opponent passes. Free for us. But they have one card in hand. And had it been something good, they would have played it. Hit them with Tiny Boner. And steal the GCJ. And realizing that no match for Tiny Boner, our opponent concedes. We're gonna go to some small horse for this. I'm gonna do. Opening hands is okay, even though the thought seems a bit rough. At least we have solitude. Oh, one grief combo. Keep out grief. Take out the bolt. And one Kavu, but they keep the second one. And we can just draw a land, we can play Firewalker to block. A phone with Kavu. And one another thought sees. And one card in hand. We'll risk it. Not all the land. This feels super drip teeter. Oh, it's all to Kavu. And now we're down two cards. Not all the tribal flames. This big problem. They put GCJ in hand. And it's still no land cross. One land away from GCJ. You draw a land. This is a huge risk. We'll just play Boy Cocker and pass. No old tribal flames. And now they can play GCJ next turn. We'll thought season before it happens. Home passes. Playboy Cocker. I should use Layla and Binding. Opponent plays land. What a loser. Tiny Boner. We'll whip out our Tiny Boner. Opponent plays Kavu. We'll push Kavu. Hit them with our Tiny Boner. And steal the Kavu. Opponent passes out of embarrassment. And trust. We'll swing for three. Still another Kavu. And we Firewalker. And tired of getting dicked down, our opponent concedes. They were no match for a Tiny Boner. Now it's on the next match. Opening hands really strong. We're gonna keep. Opponent plays Chandler. We draw Thossies. Which will pitch to grief. They have removal and digging. We'll leave them with all the shards. Opponent digs. Darn, finding bold. Time for some forge. Finding calls are complete. Opponent digs. And they actually go for the lava shard. Backing a land to flash it back. Now our hand is super balls. We'll have to pass. Opponent plays a druid. Which gives a counter when they play a red spell. Push nice. We'll push a channel and pass. Oh, we'll play another channeler. And another one. They get in our butt cheeks real good. Come on, something good. No, oh, it's not good. It sucks. They have us. Same who it is. Who can I suffer another two? Opening hand's pretty strong. We'll keep. Opponent plays monastery and bobble, but they don't attack. Okay. Who would wipe? Except they can see we have it. Thanks for the bobble. Play Firewalker. And send it back. Opponent digs. Fuck us. I'm sure our opponent has removal. So we'll play Maul. And put a clock on our opponent. Because we'll push before. Perhaps our opponent should unload their hand. Especially their one mana creatures. Oh, they take out our Maul. And they hard cast a questing druid. Hit a push nice. We'll play some forge. Finding calls rough. We'll then push druid. And get him for two. And what? They play weenie. And they take out our stone forge. And they both us. Luckily, Firewalker gains us life. Time to wipe. 
Then we're gonna feed. Play my subtle things in game three. Opening we're gonna throw some dragon sword on game three. Opening hand's pretty tempting. One land. Risky, but we'll keep. Oh, no, it's a weenie. And land, perfect. But tragically, we still can't play anything. Weenie number two. We take two. And you know what time it is. It's weenie crushing time. Wonderful. Now we have tiny boner. Try for void cocker. Upon digs. Finding two more weenies. Oh, removal. They whip out both our weenies. And now most tragically for opponent. Wipe again. And I was planning on putting out tiny boner. A grief combo is pretty hard to pass up. So we'll grief for now. A pretty strong hand. But they don't have blue for preordain. So we'll take the removal. A opponent plays soul scar mage? Why? Then they have played questing druid first. Oh, well, in that case, we'll flash in bullmasters. And it feels too dirty taking out the druid. So we'll go off to soul scar instead. And then a tomate bullmasters. So then a soft soul scar mage. And dying evil, okay. We'll swing and pass. Now our opponent has blue. Triggering bullmasters. A tomate, sure. She's a swing. Putting them at seven. Oh, an express liberation. A opponent digs without drawing. We'll force the opponent to sack and lose the graveyard. Wonderful. I hope our opponent has removal. A lot of target good for them. They go after our grief, but we'll reanimate. Grief returns. And our opponent digs. A opponent survives at one. Lucky them. Oh, wait, we haven't found right. A opponent rainbow messers. Hanging for lethal. One epic clapping now. It's on the next match. Opening hand could be good. We're gonna keep. And wrap against amulets. Fast control will be nice. Other decks much faster than ours. They ramp with grazer. Cutting out my custom gardens. A copy of their amulets. So we really, really need pest control. Oh, shit. He's not good. We'll play boy cocker and pass. Another grazer to ramp. And now I must clench. Our opponent finds Titan. We'll let them get their little lands. They find the land that gives haste. So tragically for opponents. Faltude. No Titan for them. And we'll reanimate. Taking out a grazer. But our opponent still has three cards in hand. And what? They blow up our lands? Probably out of sexy repressed rage. We got my sick. We'll first draw. Faltude, sure. We shall swing. Opponent chomps. Play some forge. And our opponent exclaims, save from my cooter. The game two it is. Opening hands for the round two. Opening hands for many lands for them all. And this seems pretty solid. We'll keep. A opponent's amulet. Tiny bone or nice. Land on top and we'll pass. Our opponent plays map. And they pass. Seems tragically for opponent. Pest control. So no permanence for them. Our opponent passes out of sadness. We'll toss these. Take their titan. And leave them with colossus at cost seven. We'll blow them. Pest control number two. They go for two. We'll powder tiny boner and pass. Our opponent plays only thick triad. And they have alakas. And we'll slam two things here. We'll cycle. Then they pass. We'll play mystic. Finding calls complete. Mystic number two. The fun mall. So they have alaka bolts again. Taking out of some portes. And they pass. Oh boy. Play mall. A good bull master. And game for three. So with all these double bolts, we're losing the race. Especially with Colossus coming in hand. Transmute. Yep, they have us. Now we must settle things game three. Opening hand super risky. We'll need another land, but we'll keep. A lot soon. Oh, holy amulet. We could have pest control them. Alright, take one. I want to amulet. And please a land for daddy. That's not a land, shoot. So it passes, and oh my gosh. We'll pass. And one copy amulet. I don't want to do This feels bad. But it looks all food. So stop them for ramping. Oh, summer is they play Titan. Will they give it haste? Because if they do, we win. But if they just get some green lands, then it's not looking good for us. <laughs> we'll go for haste. We'll fall food. No Titan for them. And because they play Summoner's Pact, we'll have to pay double green on the upkeep. Pass for them. Oh my goodness. And we somehow win. But accidents happen and our opponent didn't expect a double solitude. Now it's on the next match. Opening hands a bit too risky. We'll maul. And this has so many lands. We'll maul. And this is good. We draw fall food. A little grief. And the Regorio's engine sack. We definitely don't want to put a trap in graveyard. We'll take Prismatic Ending. And Faithful Mending, even though it has flashback. And they surveil something on top. The so Lothal Archaeologist, digging for a card. That will now seal. Ooh, and they press. We'll find Cauldron Pass. Another Falafel. Grabbing another Taint. More land. And now it's time for Cauldron. And another for eight. A opponent jumps to delay our hump. A opponent digs. Drawing two cards. And the graveyard is looking pretty scary. With both Grizzle Daddy and Atraxa. They will still take it. No jumper for you. We'll pull them with two. Uh oh. Oros Engines. Getting back Atraxa. They put I'm writing the solitude in hand. If I'm ready to track us. Putting four more cards in hand. I think they have us. Especially with the second Gordon's engine in hand. So it's on game two. Who on game two is running around two? Opening hands close, but it's too early for tiny boners to run them all. And we have the combos we're gonna keep. And they were planning on grief comboing us. Take a grief. And their card draw off. If I'm ready to cross, nice. We'll push before and pass. On it loots. Throwing prismatic ending in graveyard. Or land. We'll pull them with 12. So the life game on mending is pretty annoying. On digs. Putting another mending in hand. Ooh, we have bullmasters on top. Fist for four. And we'll blow them. What should our opponent do about that? They play for falafel. Finding Thoughtseize. Maybe we should exile falafel. But they whiffed. And play a second one. And they whiff again. They Thoughtseize. Might as well look solitude. And we have lethal. So we must settle things in three. Opening hand one lands for them all. And there's a little stanky, but we'll try it. At least we have our tiny boner. Oh, never mind. They grab our tiny boner. And Thoughtseize. Oh, another land. That's so racist. And they take our ephemerate. Surveillance. 
Find Vigard. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll try and draw on their turn. What? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. <laughs> Why are they angry? It's fun when we play it. Oh, when our opponent plays it, it just feels so violating. One pair of pants later. They flicker falafel and whiff. Cutting the tracks from Graveyard and they reanimate. So our opponent takes this one. Sometimes the fondlers become the fondled. And now it's on the next fondling. Opening hand, we have the saucy combos from the heap. The opponent passes. We'll play with Cocker. Oh, what they bold. And they play with Cocker. And Grief nice. But if we draw another way next turn, we could just hard cast it. So I say we hold up Solitude and pass. Ah, oh, suit Thoughtseize. So we'll have to Solitude now. Our opponent is not dead after all. So we get rid of Void Cocker before it gets exiled. So that's kind of derp de derp. Because we have Hemorrhage. Taking out the Void Cocker. So no Grief for us. Just as we draw a land. Someone passes. Ew, land. We'll first swing. Terminate. We'll first draw. I suppose we'll Hemorrhage. And the Thoughtseize. Oh, we'll suit Fable Ramps. Well, Masters can take out Solitude. And Shielder is Shielded. I suppose take Blue Masters. And pray they don't draw a land. New land for opponent. Land for us. Attempt to draw. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Daddy was afraid of that. Alright, play Time Boner and pass. Oh, one passes. Grief, nice. We'll play Grief. We'll take Fable. And we'll pass. Oh, one digs. Looking for that fourth land. And pass control is interesting. But they do have reanimation in hand. Daddy has a plan. Going with Time Boner. And what? They walk with a token? Okay. Fun of thought seizes. We might as well draw and let them ping us. Ooh, Fatal Push, nice. Take out the Ball Masters. They reanimate. And they do have land number four. It's also perfect. We just need to draw our fifth land. Two number three. And there we shield red. On passes, plays land for daddy. Not a land, but not terrible. But now he must pass. You know what? They swing. Super risky. So play ball masters. Going after shield red. That worked. Really? And there's land number five. Oh, he must wait one turn. I want to piss four. And plays another shield red. But before we draw, no shield red for them. We draw some forge. Oh, but they kill our solitude. So now we're at four. Another stone forge. So this be kind of risky. So we'll play stone forge. Finding them all. So now I have a block with the first strike. Oh, one passes. Honey boner, wonderful. Old first place on forge. Finding Caldra. Activate our other stone forge. Putting out Caldra. Getting him for five. Well, then play Honey boner and pass. Oh, one swings. We'll trump. Then we play Fable. And we're so close to lethal. Risky, but we'll swing like this. So they have to block Honey boner. Or else we'll sell the children. So I'm gonna block the fat. I'm gonna go to two. We'll hit the hand with the grief. Two lands. And if our opponent uses Fable to filter, our blow masses will blow them. And we take him one. Going into the round two. Opening hands decent, but not great. We'll keep. There's grief combo. Feels there. Reader, full of book solitude, so that they can't ram any grief. One wiener later. Void cocker for us. We'll play void cocker and pass. And now they get our children. Oh, land. We'll hit them for three. And we'll pass. So the wife game's annoying. They hit us for four. Oh, we'll more land. Okay, we'll swing. We'll master sure. And we'll pass. They grief us. And we draw grief. They grab a leaf. We can put them at one, but then they can hit us on the crack back. And yep, they have us. So we must settle things game three. So when game three, we made it to turn 11. And then it came down to top decking and we ran out of time. So we'll count this one as a lot. So there we have it. Daddy was impressed with pest control. Although it did feel more like a cyber card. But as for the deck itself, grief alongside solitude has always been a bit awkward. Because grief is trying to beat down the opponent quickly before they recover. And solitude lets the opponent gain life. And it's slow and easily blocked. But as for Tiny Boner, it feels like it has a lot of potential. Especially in slower formats like Pioneer and Standard. I think Tiny Boner could be really good. Those videos are coming soon. And until next time, stay to me tech.